Hi friends, welcome to the Knowledge Club Online. Today I am going to discuss about the genetics, which is the most important part of the life science or biology. All living organisms reproduce. Reproduction results in the formation of offspring of the same kind. However, the resulting offspring did not and most often does not totally resemble the parent. Why? Before the despite the whole genetics, I am discussing some the introductory part of the genetics, which uh, I am describe later. What is genetics? Genetics is the study of heredity, the process in which a parent passes certain genes onto their children. In simple language. Genetics is the study of heredity. Modern genetics is concerned with study of genes. Genes are the units of heredity that control the characteristic of organisms. Genetics investigate how these genes are transferred from generation to the next, what their structure is and how they function to determine the characteristics of living organisms. What is heredity? Heredity may be defined as the transmission of traits from one generation to successive generations of living things. What is variation? Variation is the differences of which exist between individuals' belongings to some species. The variation in sexually reproducing organisms such as most animals, plants and some microbes can be easily observed and asexual produced organism has 1% and inherits all traits. It is indeed a cartoon type of the parent and is called clone. Variation in clones is by a large due to the influence of the environment they live in and so not inheritable. However, stable heritable chains can occur in a clone due to mutation. First, the word match activity. Match the generic, genetic terms to their corresponding parts of the illustration. At first, the base pair, then cell, chromosome, DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid, and RNA, double helix, genes, nucleus. I shall discuss its latter. Now, the genetics can be divided into three areas, classical genetics, molecular genetics, and evolutionary genetics, which called the population genetics. In classical genetics, we are concerned with the Mendel's principle, sex determination, sex linkage, and cytogenetics. We are concerned with Mendel's principle, sex determination, sex linkage and cytogenetics. We are concerned with Mendel's principle, sex determination, sex linkage and cytogenetics. First, the use library resources to define the following words are write their definitions using their own words. What is alley? Each gene may exist in alternative forms known as alleys, which code for different versions of a particular inherited character. In terms of genes, we also define alleys as genes occupying corresponding positions on homologous chromosomes and controlling the same characteristics. Height of plant, that is the example but producing defined effects tall or short the term 
homologous refers to the chromosomes that carry the same set of genes in the same sequence, although they may not necessarily carry identical alleles of each gene. One term is the dominant. A dominant alley mask or hide expression of a recessive alley and it is represented by an uppercase letter. A recessive alley is an alley that exerts its effect only in the homozygous state and in heterozygous condition its expression is masked by a dominant alley. Another thing is homozygous and heterozygous. Each parent deployed has two alleys for a trait. They may be homozygous or heterozygous. Homozygous indicating they possesses two identical alleys for a trait. Heterozygous genotypes possesses one of each alley for a particular type. In term, the genotype and phenotype. A distinguished physical appearance from the genetic constitution, two different terms are used in genetics, genotype and phenotype. A genotype is defined as the genetic constitution of an individual for any particular character or trait. The genotype of an individual is usually expressed by a symbol that is tt, small t, small 2t, then one big t, one small t or two big t etc. The phenotype is defined as the physical appearance of an individual for any particular trait. The phenotype of an individual is dependent on its genetic constitution. On the basis of hybridization experiment on uh, Pysum sativum, Mendel proposed the principles of inheritance known as Mendel's law. Before I go into the Mendel's law, I shall discuss about the Mendel's gene, which is most important. Genes are discrete particles of which with each parent passing one copy to its offspring. Let an alley be a particular copy of a gene. In each parent carries two alleys for every gene, one from each parent. Each parent contributes one of its two alleys at random to its offspring. For example, a parent with genotype big A small a small a represents the heterozygote for alleys A and A has a 50% probability of passing an big A alley onto its offspring and a 50% probability of passing long and along and a small A alley. Next is the Mendelian inheritance. The inherited traits are determined by genes that are passed from parents to children. A child inherits two sets of genes, one from each parent. A trait may not be observable but its gene can be passed to the next generation. I shall discuss later the Mendelian inheritance of laws in detail further. Each person has two copies of every gene, one copy from mom and second copy from dad. These copies may come in different variations known as alleys that express different traits. For example, two alleys in the gene for freckles are inherited from mom and dad. Alley from mom is equal to has freckles, big F. Alley from dad, no freckles, small f. Child has the inherited gene pair of freckles, alleys, big F with small f. Alley from mom and alley from dad. Now the chromosomes. Chromosomes carry the heritage information genes arrangement of nucleotides in DNA, DNA to RNA and proteins.
Heredity describes how some traits are passed from parents to their children. The traits are expressed by genes which are small sections of DNA that are coded for specific traits. Genes are found on chromosomes. Humans have two sets of 23 chromosomes, one set from each parent. Now, the chromosomes and genes occur in pairs of homologous chromosomes. New combinations of genes occur in sexual reproduction, fertilization from two parents. That is the example of homologous chromosomes. Uh, this is uh, the two homologous region coded for the same gene. Now, I come to the population genetics, which I told it is also called the evolutionary genetics. What is it? Evolutionary genetics is the study of the mechanisms of evolutionary change or changes in gene frequencies in populations. Population genetics is the field of genetics that studies heredity in groups of individuals for traits that are determined by one for only a few genes. Polygenic traits determined by combinations of many genes are discussed in the next slide. Both populations and constitutive genetics use Mendelian principles and both are amenable to mathematical treatment. These areas of genetics have been important in the fusion of Mendelian theory with Darwin theory to create the de novo Darwin synthesis that underlies much of current biological thinking. Population genetics study the genetic structure of population and populations and how they change geographically and over time. A Mendelian population is a group of interbreeding individuals who share a common set of genes. The total of all gene alleles in the population constitutes the gene pool. Modern molecular biology techniques have allowed for rapid advancement in population genetics. Mathematical models are often developed in population genetics. The heredity hardy weinberg law is a major example. Some terms in the population genetics is the gene pool, the concept set of genetic information in all individuals within a population, genotype frequency, proportion of individuals in a population with a specific genotype. Genotype frequencies may differ from one population to another. Alley frequency, proportion of any specific alley in a population. Alley frequencies are estimated from genotype frequencies. The last part is the molecular genetics. Molecular genetics is the study of the genetic material, its structure, replication and expression as well as the information revolution emanating from the discoveries of recombinant DNA technologies. Here we shall discuss about the DNA, RNA and its uh, the replication, transformation, protein synthesis and the and the various the genetic steps in this molecular genetics this lecture may be helpful to you thank you